Hello, uh, Jim Howard here. Jim, or don't even my own. Oh man, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date it is October thirteenth of twenty twenty one. I just paid for a new year of uh, Movidia Video Editor Plus. Uh, and I'm trying out right now the, I paid for that, let's see, what was it, version 21, that was last year's I guess, and I still had a month or so to go, but I went ahead and paid for version 22, and I'm checking out right now. I've uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos an awful lot, and I'm really sort of a, ashamed of. Uh, of course, I see a lot of bad YouTube videos. My God, but uh, I could be doing better than what I have been doing. So I uh, deleted. Uh, an arcade game I've been playing, you know, the slot machine type things, not for real money, of course, and I just deleted uh, uh. Civilization 6, is that it, that I have been playing for, of course, I played the in the beginning, the, you know, earlier versions, but I just went ahead and deleted it because I sat down to play that for a little bit and uh, hours go by and I don't get anything done. So I'm going to try and make uh, some better videos and I'm going to try to do a few things that I, I, I did it a little bit in the past a few times but not big time and I didn't put any effort into it. I'm going to try to, uh, uh, you know, have a opening and a closing and maybe some other things in there that are, you know, edited and, and done. Uh, over the years I've had, you know, several people say, you know, you don't have to say, you know, Jim Howard here in, you know, wherever, and the date and time, all that type of stuff can be, you know, you can have a lead in or something and do that, and I should. So, uh, let's see if I can actually do it, or if I reinstall Civilization Six or something. But like I said, I'm using... Um, Movidia Video Editor Plus uh, version 22. So, let's see what Jim can do. Uh, and you know how I hate to learn anything new. Well, not politics and that kind of stuff, but so far as, I think the computer should just do things. You know, it should turn the computer on, yeah, the computer should turn itself on when you walk up to it or whatever. I mean, every, you know, I just think that if you're using a computer, you shouldn't have to uh, sit down and read a manual. You shouldn't have to uh, look at uh, all these type of YouTube videos telling you how to do this and how to do that. I, I just think it should do it. And... Uh, Maybe I do need to get out. I'm running Windows 11, by the way. Uh, maybe I do need to just go to uh, switch to Apple computers. Kind of late, though. I'm 80 years of age. I should have done that a few years ago. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.
I'm back already. Uh, I made that little video and then I decided that I should make my video longer so uh, here I am. I hope you didn't disconnect. I hope you continued watching. Uh, let's see from YouTube creators it says, Jim Howard, here's how your channel did last month. I gained 22 subscribers. Uh, there was uh, 8,371 total views. And people watched for a total of 30,000 minutes. And... What else? See more analysis. Here's what's new with YouTube. Uh, somehow, you can make shorter YouTube channel or videos. People do this is uh, Conti sauce, Sosta, Sosta, and I have some chips here someplace. Uh, quick steps to protect your Google account. They want you to use a two-step verification. I use two-step verification with a whole, with quite a few. Uh, quite a few sites. It's, uh, it works, it works well, and I guess it's really good protection. Uh, fitness creator offers less to other YouTubers. Leading fitness trainer of Alathian X offers lessons he learned on his YouTube channel in the blog's latest Creator Voices. Read to see how you can learn from him. Uh, see, make money beyond ads with Super Chat. Super Chat is a fun way to boost earnings and build stronger connections with fans. Uh, if you're eligible, take a look at these tips Creator Spotlight. Tune in to Frank DiMattia channel in the Kitchen with Frank as he whips up extensive classic Italian meals while making it look effortless. And uh, the charismatic Italian dad shows his love through cooking. That's all for October. Right with you. Let's see what else. YouTube Shorts. Oh, they're made for mobile. Allowing you to shoot, scroll, and share right from your phone. I don't use my phone for that much. Or They're copying, I think, some other service. What is it? Knickknack or... P5 old thumb or something that does that. And I think a lot of kids do it. Getting started on YouTube. I'll put links to all this, by the way. Building your community. 
how to make money on YouTube, growing your channel, top questions. Like I said, I'll put links to it. Okay. I think that's... I think that's it. I got this hat on. I should try to. I'll try to wear the hat. I had skin cancer removed, a big one, off the top of my head quite a while back. But it just my head was not. Uh, but my whole body's ugly. But I think especially the you know the top of my head or my face. Everything is it, you know. Uh, so what else uh, is there to talk about today? Well, let's go see what's going on in the world. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. The, uh, Kirk, Captain Kirk, and three others are going up in this rocket, and they'll be up for, what, 20 minutes or something up there, so... So Captain actually gets to go to space. Early this morning, the launch went into a brief hold. With minutes to go, the launch is on hold again, but is expected to blast off. William Stat Statler is about to be the oldest person ever blasted into space. Let's see. Okay, I guess this is the big news. Social Security people are going to get the largest benefit increase in 40 years. That's great, but that's bad also. That means, you know, it's based on the cost of living. That, that means, it says underneath it in the headline, prices aren't coming down anytime soon. It's good that Social Security people are getting some a little more money, but it's not going to make up for the uh, actual cost of living for us old people. But what are you going to do, you know? I don't know, there's got to be a better way. for things to be handled. I actually think the United States, especially with uh, capitalism, with corporations making so much money, with the CEOs and the high officials in these corporations making unbelievable amounts of money and even if their corporation is unsuccessful even if they go broke when they close or whatever they do the CEOs and the executives get golden parachutes uh, people who may have worked 40 years or longer for these corporations you know as rank and file workers and union people maybe uh, their uh, pensions may be done away with. Uh, so, when I was working as a welder at uh, KW Dart Truck Company, I worked in the Dart Division in the body shop. We made the body 
of course, the, re the rest of the stuff was being made around us too, but we made the body for these trucks. And these are the trucks you see in mining places that are, you know, too big to go on roads. Uh, we had to, uh, a lot of the trucks that we made, you know, we had to disassemble so they, they could be shipped on a railroad, you know, uh, car and then reassembled. But anyway, I was working, uh, No, I don't think that's where it was. I think I was working at the make building um, Hess Carriage Company building trucks, regular trucks that go on the street that carry, uh, you know, drinks, colas and beers and you know that kind of stuff. That's the company where I got my uh, head cut open. I was working underneath a truck, you know, being built new truck. And then I came out and took my helmet off, and then a, a C clamp came down from the top of it because they were up there banging on the top of the truck. C clamp came down, and hit me in the top of the head. Um. Anyway, four old guys came in. I say old now. Well, I said old then. Uh, I'd probably say now. Oh, Four young whippersnappers came in, you know, as I, you know, just in the prime of their health, but they weren't in the prime of their, you know. And they came in all together, and you could tell they knew each other, they worked together. And I forget how many years they had worked with Welder. Um, for a company. And they had a, a union contract or something. But the company went out of business. And only one of the four guys was old enough, and I don't know what the age, I can't remember now what the age was, that he was going to get part of his pension. And the other three guys, and they worked there, you know, like 20, 30 years or something. And uh, they weren't getting a penny. So they hired, you know, they hired in as well as, you know, uh, starting over again. Those kind of things, they just shouldn't happen. Okay, let's see how rich I'm going to be. Whoops, got to click this so you can see. 5.9% increase. But rising prices will offset the boost. Uh, Social Security recipients will receive an annual cost of living increase of 5.9% next year. That'll be starting in January. The largest increase since 1982 Hey, the year I started my bulletin board system. The Social Security Administration announced Wednesday. The spike will boost retirees' monthly payments by $92 to an estimated $1,657 for 2022. Okay, that what they're not telling you there is what they should put in there. It should say, because it's, you know, percentage, and they're saying $92. Uh, I will probably get a $92 <coughs> increase to my Social Security. But it, it varies. Uh, every year when they talk about, they say the average person makes uh, X amount of money on Social Security and I'm always, I'm, the number they give is always, that's, <laughs> that's my, I'm the average. Uh, this would be the highest, highest COLA that's, that most benefits living today have ever seen and uh, Mary Johnson, Social Security and Medicare 
policy analysis for the Senior Citizens League. But that doesn't mean it's going to be going on a spending spree. The reason is that the hike is, because of inflation, is soaring to the roughly 70 million people who get Social Security, including retirees, Americans with disabilities, and others receive a cost of living, or COLA, each year. It's based on a one-year increase in inflation and is designed to help beneficiaries cope with prices that rise. In 2021, the adjustment was 1.3%, which translated into a roughly $20 a month increase for retired workers. I'll put a link to this, by the way, of course. And I guess, yeah, I guess I don't need to. I'll put a link to it, and you can read it if you are interested. Oh, okay, here's something, which I was just... Social Security benefits have lost 32% of their buying power since 2000. The annual adjustment have increased payments by a total of 55 percent but seniors typically expenses have grown nearly 105 percent over the same period the soaring cost of gas used vehicles home heating oil bacon egg beef milk and home care for the elderly were among the fastest growing expenses for older Americans over the year, ending in July 21. Uh, the national average price for gasoline hit $3.27 a gallon on Monday, according to the AAA. I didn't know out I didn't know out. Uh, oh, I'm trying to be funny and messing the joke up. I didn't know that alcoholics uh, kept such close, you know, because in AA is Alcoholics Anonymous and AAA is the American Automobile Association. Uh, so, mess that joke up. I'm not good at telling jokes. I, I'm good at coming up, I think, when I'm in a conversation or something's going on or somebody says something and coming back with a one word or a couple words there that are, I think can be pretty devastating because of my brilliant mind, of course. But uh, uh, I'm not good at telling a joke, even if I just, you know, just saw the joke someplace. And then I try to tell it to somebody, I mess it up. Uh, housing costs have rose nearly 118%. Home health care costs have gone up 145%. And it doesn't get any better. Anyway, um, I'll put the links to these things. Um, uh, what else did I want to tell you? I think that's it. Not better bring this to a conclusion and upload it. So, thank you very much for watching.